What's up, Cancer? Uh, guys, goddesses, and everything in between. I'm Austria Von Mother Queen, and today I'll be channeling the collective for clear and concise message. We got Brew Yah just came on Vidro Free Soul, and he spelled free with uh, two threes and S O L. But okay, so I just did y'all regular message. That's y'all yeah, spell the curtain. I'm hoping we're not gonna have a re play of that i'm getting this y'all number on this one is six yeah y'all number six on this so this is about movement so cool shit movement what's that movement what the fuck is that y'all beauty redirection resolution Okay, resolution after conflict. Cool, because y'all had a lot of conflict in that other message. So I'm here for it. This y'all spiritual message, okay? Um, I like, I feel so much better. Like, y'all don't even understand, like, the feelings. <laughs> I feel so much better. Um, but go watch y'all other message. I am back, okay? I had to figure out my purpose. I am here, though. This y'all spiritual message. So hopefully y'all watch the other one first, but I don't know what y'all are in it. Please uh, be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Um, I got a lot of, like, shit in store, like, to be honest. I wish I, I'm going to write it down at some point and start, like, saying it in this intro. But I, I realize, like, I don't like, I don't like monotony and I don't like, uh, re repetitive shit. So, <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I don't know, I might not write it down. Who here is supposed to hear it, I guess. I don't I'm putting the community, though. Um, but, yeah, let's jump into y'all message. Now, y'all might be a life path level six, too. I feel like y'all need to be uh, especially focused if you're a life path six. Uh, I see Afro. Okay. Somebody could be pregnant. We got hypnotized. Something or someone will captivate you and absorb all your attention. Careful not to lose yourself. Okay. Okay, now, because I feel like that's what y'all was doing in the other message, so. Okay. Spirit, don't do too much. I just realized in this message, too, like, she got some motherfucking, um, and I don't know why I'm thinking it's a she, but I'm thinking it's a she. She got some goddamn Cynthia-looking-ass eyelashes. <laughs> like, these motherfuckers, y'all, like, maybe somebody need a refill. <laughs> Oh shit, fiery passion here. Some just like tickle my cheek. Okay now. I told y'all go through my ori, but look at look at the look at the eyelashes. Y'all can see it. I don't know. This shit don't really be uh what's the name? Okay. Fiery passion, be intense, be passionate and worked up, but about things that matter. Things that change your life. Cool, it look like you're turning your back to this energy. I appreciate you, okay? Okay, okay. Look, huh? Huh, period. Uh, Aries in the reverse, okay? Okay, okay. Okay, actions you take now will bear fruit. Charge ahead with your plans and see it through to, to full fruition. I was getting fire energy in that last message. That's why I was happy that this shit came like this. But now I'm thinking about it and shit, I don't know. It should be. So maybe y'all are leaving the Aries alone. Shit. Or somebody with Aries placements. Okay, Cancer. Or you're no longer putting like effort into something. Mm, which is why this fiery passion is here. Like you're putting your initiative into your yeah your initiative energy into things that matter to you. All right. So we got options. You have many options available to you. Take time to take a wider look at your situation and explore your options. All right, we got 
black girl magic it says if you try to be you could be i find it so amazing how you still exhibit love even though you've been hurt so many times yes come through but that's by Londrella or Londrell. all right inner goddess all right, it says express your divine feminine energy. This energy will serve you well no matter what your goals are, period. Okay, now. Okay, now. Okay, you say, come on, come on. Because your last one kept talking about fucking balance. And this card is duality. This is it's time to face your dark in your life, your limitations and your strengths, and see how your duality plays into your life. Period. Okay. I know it's not gonna do it. I'm gonna fix I'm trying to fix it, maybe. I don't know. I'll probably forget. Anyway, um <clears throat> Okay, cool. Okay. And then we got oh shit. Right, Virgo here. Virgo may be significant. We got make a wish. It says, uh, what you've asked for is coming true. Be ready to receive your blessings. But clarity is in the reverse. This is if you think it through and act wisely, you will come out on top. Use your mental power to navigate this path. I feel like you may be getting something you didn't think that, like you asked for, but you didn't even know what you was asking for. <laughs> something like that. All right, y'all. So this is the in-between deck. Um, they have two energies in these cards. And um, it gives you the between energy moving from one card to the next, okay? Uh, with this deck, I use this to do spiritual messages because um, I was guided to. Uh, with that being said, I'm also guided to read the book when prompted. So I do that as well. So hopefully this message is not too long, but I'm... Listen, fast forward something. I don't know, baby. Okay, let's see. Okay, they want me to go straight across today. Okay, so we got the three of swords in the reverse. Okay, and that card talks about, um. What is it? Because I want to say it's like they, they writing a letter home to like family or some shit, but it's I always forget that. Keeping the wheel on. Like, who says that? But it says this card conveys the mental shift from anxiety to a much clearer focus. So I feel like you realize that being with somebody was fucking with your focus. Okay, the strength here is the hermit to uh i'm sorry the strength is and this deck is leo's energy to the hermit it says i am what i, I am that i am and it's i e y e and this is that's crazy that this song came on because this is about inner understanding like inner um illumination you going within type shit okay let's see discovering the inner guide it says this is this in between stage offers the necessary patience that needs to be employed in order to achieve a meditative state there needs to be an asserted effort to find the right space often during meditation we can encounter difficult things shadows that need to be addressed and dealt with there can be painful elements to our past that we may now need to revisit in this stage we approach with caution it can it can be difficult to commit to this self-work, but it is wholly necessary in order to progress to the next stage. So that's something that you're needing to be passionate about, shit, doing the inner work. I don't think that you're really, I don't think that you're there yet, but I think that you are going to get there, shit. Okay, yeah, something was over with this person. Uh, you could be also uh, fixed sign energy. This is the, I want to say. The world to the full, yeah. The world to the full. So Aries, Aquarius, and then Capricorn, Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio energy. Yeah, the Page of Wands. Yeah, Page of Wands to the Queen of Wands. 
no, Page of Wands to the Knight of Wands. And the Knight of Wands is uh, Leo's energy, which is also your energy, Cancer. Okay, okay, moving right along. Look, moving right the fuck along. Okay, now, y'all pissing me off. Knight of Wands <laughs> to the Queen of Wands. Okay, this is uh, Leo, Cancer energy, as well as Aries, Pisces energy. That's in the reverse. Okay, now y'all about to irritate me. Don't irritate me, y'all, Cancer. <laughs> Please don't. All right. King of, okay. Okay, so you get there. King of Coins. Okay. King of Coins to the Page of Coins. This is like getting that, uh, this is your guides being able to give you some sort of knowledge. So that's why. It's a movement. It's some up, down, up, down. He take a long way around, apparently. Yeah, three of cups here. Okay. All right, let's see. All right, we'll do the major first that I'm saying. So give me, okay, it says I love my life. That needs to be a mantra. Okay, hold on, y'all. I'm going to start a playlist. Oh, that was already there, mine. I'm going to start a playlist, though. And because this song, I Love My Life by Sunshine Rains, that go hard to me. Okay. That really going to hear. Is this the card, though? All right. Clarification, please. Okay. Okay, so this is the king to the page. And the king of swords is Gemini's energy. As well as Tauruses. This is all about like um, the transference of knowledge. It's like old energy, like old knowledge becoming new or something like that. Hold on. Old knowledge with fresh eyes. Yeah. It says this in between stage will show up when a special a specialist skill or knowledge phase has been exhausted. It is time to move on to something new. Or even to add a new topic or uh, to your CV or skill sets. You know, it's not time for that. What it's time for is for you to fucking look within. Be passionate about the work that you do for yourself. And stop focusing on other people. Yeah, that's the energy right there. Spirit is very, uh, what's the name about that? Yeah. Ten of Cups. Yeah. To figure out what makes you happy. What makes you feel whole it's like that's what will bring you full circle to where you're supposed to be in this um yeah where you're supposed to be for the, these people you could have heavy fire energy too in your chart or something that's what i'm getting look that shit up okay this is i love my body and my optimum health some of y'all need to focus on your health some of you need to maybe focus on your teeth or the way that you dress is it for your personality all right in the cups some of you have children some of you pregnant or somebody pregnant hmm. the hermit here in the reverse that's crazy because like i said the strength to the hermit and then this is the hermit to the wheel all right so this is why things haven't been going well for you or right for you okay because you haven't been able to move into this energy of um self-knowledge and also going on your true path right which for a lot of you it has a lot to do with you teaching people to do something all right why is the hermit here okay the devil capricorn's energy it's the devil to the tower Yeah. So this is like a fucking awakening at this point with the judging at the back. Yeah. So they 654, I think, on the clock. No, 604 on the clock. Okay. Mm, and this is over the power button, so I can't even see how many minutes I've been on here. But anyway. The Herman it says stepping calmly into the unknown, right? But this is about you having patience and being able to meditate too. Like like I said, I said that shit in your last message. 
that you needed to do that. They say when this in between stage comes around, it signifies a step into the unknown. The wheel promises cyclic change and surprises, but never firm outcomes. The fool must choose the next path with wisdom. Like you got to make a choice for what you want to do and what you want to leave in the path. In the past, everybody has a choice per se, but in the choices that you make, it does change how you are. It say we do just fine, <laughs> cinnamon by cinnamon. No, the song is named Cinnamon. It's by Ma Maja or something. Mm, okay. The, the devil here. Okay. And this uh, judgment card is about tying up these ends, like leaving the past behind type shit. All right. So it says the devil. It says approaching breaking point. Right. So like, the, again... Putting passions towards things that will change your life, okay? Because it says, this is the point of make or break where you need to do something positive before a negative situation, before the negative situation we find ourselves in gets out of control and takes us over, right? So whatever you've been forcing or putting your energy into, that shit needs to stop and you need to be putting your energy towards yourself in order for you to turn it's like you're supposed to change into something right with the page of wands here this is this is going into a new line of study learning shit but right here this motherfucker that's not embracing they their self right so i really feel like you're supposed to learn something here in regards to your ancestors and guys because look at this shit this is the it's the judging card tying up loose ends the nine of cups this is about re reuniting with some people and the sun here is about um i want to say it's about something in the past like it's say happiness in the past and then awakening the angels right so awakening your ancestors and guides and that's why you're reuniting with them but you're not tying up no loose ends i don't know why this feel like it's so close to me <laughs> but it really does okay all right let's see Give me, let's see what the world is that's the world. Because it's about starting over. Like, you're about to get back on this shit, start over again. Because you keep on going around and around the merry go round and not learning the fucking lesson, y'all. You got to learn the lesson, cancer, okay? Because don't. See what I'm saying? Because the ten of swords right here. Ten of swords in this this motherfucking uh deck this is about uh like positive like being able to make a positive change for the better right or be able to say like what you're going to do moving forward <clears throat> hold on yeah choosing what to do next right but you don't have no choice in what to do next you don't have a choice in what you're doing next. Because this is a ten of swords, I think, to the ace. Right? Yeah, to the ace. You don't have a choice about what to do next. You're being given your choice with the ace of fucking wands here. Ace of wands to the two of wands. Mind you, this is the ten of swords. Ten of swords to the ace of swords. And then you're picking up the ace of wands. Like, just think about that in regards to tarot. Because I know if you hear, you fucking watch this shit. So, the aces are all about what god has given to you you're being given a torch now this is a, a potential of being able to like move forward and it's like to be or not to be that's the question you get to make the choice of whether or not you want to pick up the motherfucking torch and move along but that's also why these motherfucking pet these motherfucking uh wands is right here but again if your ass don't figure it out you're not gonna be able to get to this duality part it say I attract abundance. Ain't that crazy? Because it's the king of coins. You not going to be able to attract no, no fucking money. And I feel like that was the issue. Sheesh. That was the issue before. You kept motherfucking... Um, you couldn't attract any money. Like, that's crazy. And it was because somebody was running around your mind rent free. And also because of the energy that was surrounding you. Like, everybody, like, I don't know exactly what that's like. But I know what it's like. Because I'm life path 11 is different. I'm still learning about the power and everything like that. 
but I understand that people can't do magic on me, right? But I, but in knowing that somebody got the number on that be calling me right now, and I got my shit on do not disturb. You see what I'm saying? Like that's that's the type of. So, I hope you can hear me through that, but what I was saying is, like, that's the type of shit I'm talking about. Somebody that's always fucking, I got my phone with Do Not Disturb, you shouldn't be able to call me, but somebody's able to get through, like, that's that type of energy. You see what I mean? And I feel like, with your message in particular, like, my son was trying to talk to me, all type of shit, like, it was a lot going on, <laughs> like, in order for me to get here. Yo, I just said that it was a lot going on, why the fuck? the phone the music from my tablet just started playing in my ear like y'all i don't know what the fuck y'all got going on Joe. like for real for real i don't know what y'all got going on i ain't gonna fuck hold you okay um, that you you would probably need a personal message, baby, because at this point, like when I tell you the interruptions, just just the interruptions, the energy of that to keep you from like moving forward, it's like, baby. Mm -hmm. Like I told you before, in the beginning of this, some not clear, some not clear. Okay. Mm. Y'all need to take a spiritual bath. I know I said that on your last message too. Do that shit. Get y'all some fucking spirit bath in you. Give me this spirit. Now I'm getting hot again. See what I'm saying? And I mean, window open now. There's no reason to be fucking hot. Window is open. Okay, the wheel here. The wheel in between the justice. Right, because that's the choice that you're supposed to make. With the motherfucking emperor. Yo, I can't make this shit up at this point. This shit crazy. <laughs> Because it should say a warning to stay alert. A warning to stay alert. And all of these motherfucking, all of these goddamn things just keep trying to take you off your path. Literally. Just in this, in this message right here. Somebody called me. Motherfucking, the music switched from the iPad. If you got Apple devices, you know that's not some shit that fucking happens. Okay. They say... This in-between stage presents a state of curiosity about the choices of man. This stage will make itself known when we are faced with the outcome of our choices, both good and bad. We may have been wandering aimlessly and never really paying attention to responsibility or any sense of direction. Or we may be wandering into forbidden territory. This card gives warning to pay attention that we are doing the right thing and making the right decisions. Any wrong choices at this point are about to be brought to light just as is a dish best served cold meaning it will catch us it will catch us unaware see what i'm saying just the balancing of the fucking scales so this is for you not to motherfucking make the wrong choice like now this motherfucking thing on my head getting heavy joe <laughs> oh spirit get that up off of me i don't know what it is but Go ahead, take it, take it up off me. That shit crazy. I know how you want. I supposed to be feeling that shit, but I don't want to feel it like that. Okay, the emperor here. That's a this a battle of wheels, but this is also like um like a, a fight. Like y'all gonna like it's like coming to toe to toe. Yeah, embarking on a crusade. Aries, Taurus energy with the emperor here, and then the moon. Your energy. It's in between the moon and the, the sun and the moon. It's in the reverse. And that's all about achieving clarity. Yeah, achieving clarity. And that's in the reverse. <sighs> yeah. So, you need to wake the fuck up about something. And I feel like you know what you need to do. Because I, I, what I just see right here was standing out to me and say, a reflection of your own inner alchemy. So... So with the knowing that all you are, all you take a stand rather than fall. Yeah, see what I'm saying? And this is called casual stardust. Let me add this to my fucking playlist because, yes. Activation and Cosmic Quest is the name of the song. So, yeah. 
They look because they activated the sorcery of, of inner wealth. Yo. Okay. Seven of Swords here in the reverse, baby. I knew this shit was going to come out and I really didn't want it to. But this card right here, Seven of Swords is about motherfucking thinking that you got a fucking hope. Against who? Look at this. You, 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 you see it? Another interruption. Come on. Actually, it's already in the bathroom. It's already in the bathroom. Look in the closet. It's already in the bathroom. Look in the closet. Okay. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Okay. The last ray of hope. In the reverse. You it ain't none, baby. Your only hope is to do what the fuck you supposed to be doing. Go back and, and pick up that fucking torch. It says in this in between stage we are reaching the point where we feel that we can no longer cope. However, we are still aware that we have one last trick of our trick up our sleeve before all is lost this could be a hope we cling to or some kind of advice we are yet to take all is not lost but see what i'm saying like this this shit is like you really think all hope is lost for the way that you were living before and that shit's gone because you're chosen by peach that shit just popped up chosen by peach that, that that's crazy but that's what you, if you don't understand, I, you don't get it. And I understand you don't get it. Maybe you need to talk to somebody. I'll talk to you, baby. But you have to understand 2657 is on the clock. You got to understand you can't make the choice to walk away from some shit that is destined to you. Okay? And granted, while you can make the choice to do so, your life going to be exponentially harder. 2654. I don't know why I heard South 57, y'all. All right, come on. Because this is you. You got you got options. Yeah, but don't make the wrong one. Because that's what this card is saying at the top. You got options. I read it off for y'all. You got options, right. And this your main one that you need to be fucking doing. Okay, with this Queen of Swords to the King of Swords. That is... What's that? Gemini. Gemini Aquarius. Taurus Virgo energy and that shit is about fighting your fucking demons okay confronting your fucking demons and protecting the the generation behind you okay so yeah that's what the fuck you need to be doing I'm, I'm telling you right now you need to figure out what the fuck is is, is going on with you in regards to your inner inner mental health, fucking turmoil and shit that you are having, like blocks and shit you have yet to be able to get over, especially if you got some sort of childhood trauma, because we all fucking do. You need to fucking figure out what the fuck that shit is in order for you to be able to progress and move forward, baby. What's this? Yeah, King of Wands. <laughs> King of Wands. To the, um, what is it? It's King of Wands to the Page of Wands. And this, and this deck, this is about being humble. Being humble. And I think it's like the transference of inner knowledge or something. The art of being humble. It says, in this, in this in-between stage comes around, well, when this in-between stage comes around, we feel humble enough to pass what we have achieved to others. It involves teaching and giving of self. Many great leaders have practiced humility and inspired a new generation to be like them, right? Okay. It says, when I was a young girl, my, my mother told me about a wild, wild woman who lives inside of me. She sheds her skin to dance and sing on nights when the moon is full. The wild woman lives within each and every one. So listen, feel that pull. This is by Annie Diori. Okay. I think I added this on to my fucking first already. It says something about like the goddess, the, the grandmother and something else. But it's called Wild Woman. It's a good song too. But again, this is about passing on knowledge. Okay. Passing on knowledge. And I feel like y'all, y'all haven't felt like you are able to do that. Or like I just saw the high priestess of the empress. 
That's the energy that you're meant to be in, okay? Inner goddess energy with that shit. King of Wands. Yeah, two of swords to the... Going to the three of swords. This is something that you're apprehensive about. I don't know if you feel like you you don't you can't yeah walking away with a heavy heart and you can't walk away from this though. To yeah, can't change your mind. None of that shit. This five of wands right here. This the card that that is like um like first of all you see they putting the crown on on them right and it's like you taking you taking the fucking crown but you got your eyebrow you got your eyebrow up kind of. It's the acceptance of an award, but with a wary, wary, wary eye. It says, this in-between stage presents us with the knowledge that although we should be proud of what we have achieved, there are still others who wish to pull us down from our pedestal. It's always going to be others. And maybe that's why you feel like you can't or you shouldn't be doing this because of other people's um, opinions of you, but fuck them people. You, we all go through shit in order for us to be the people that we are, in order for us to follow the positions. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> in order for us to follow the positions that we're supposed to uh, follow in life. So if we allow other people to dictate that, then... What the fuck? What's the fuck the message we're giving to the to the masses? What what's the message we're giving to the kids? You know, like no, cause this card this means uh, <clears throat> coming into one's own, okay? And it being in the reverse, you supposed to be in this inner goddess inner inner god energy, and you can't come into yourself because of what other people. And I'm telling you right now, yo, guys, don't give a fuck. They still give you, look, I'm about to show you this King of Coins card when I get this card for, this, for, for them. Yep, to period. Like I said, the death card, Scorpio energy to the temperance card, Sagittarius energy. That's about motherfucking a rebirth. Literally, you are changing yourself. Inner goddess energy what and it's crazy because the lady that wrote this song or one of the ladies on this song her name medusa and this car kind of looked like kind of looked like medusa if i can pull it up okay all right so anyway the death card all right, so it says renewal of purpose, right? Because you're renewing your purpose of what you're supposed to be doing. It says in the Buddhist religion, uh, reincarnated. And soon as I, and soon as I said Medusa, I was like, maybe y'all got some like uh, reincarnation. I was thinking that reincarnation of Medusa or something. The fields by Landrelli is playing. It says, haven't they told you that love can be naive in, instead of blind? But regardless of what you're going through, you have to believe in better times, period. But it was like, you could be like maybe a reincarnation of Medusa or like just someone from that time because I was also here for Poseidon um, because of that relationship of why, like even how Medusa turned into Medusa. I don't know if you know the story, read it. If you don't, 3349 on the clock. Um, anyway, so... Uh, in the Buddhist religion, reincarnation is the belief that we are born anew into a different life after we die. Each life, each new life signals a new beginning and presents the chance to renew our purpose. Each of us have, each of, each of us has lessons to learn and parts of our life that we would possibly change if we could. This in-between stage shows how we need to let go of the outdated parts of our lives See what I'm saying? Back up off me. That have outworn their existence in order to balance, more about that balance, our books and move across into the cleansing energy of temperance. Figuratively, we need to die in order to be reborn. In the sense, we need to, we, in this sense, we will feel like the phoenix rising up, reborn, and reinvigorated. Mm, like, and then that sun with that star in the reverse, with this temperance, 
Like, yo, I'm telling you, it's 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 over with. That you're you're meant to become this person. Even if you push against it, it's still coming for you. It's still coming for you. So I don't know. You might want to lean into it. Because I hear that shit tough and hard. When you try to go against your gifts and your purpose. I don't know. I listen. I, I just, that's what I hear. Because <laughs> I ain't doing it. <laughs> but I've watched friends do it. I've, I've watched people do it. Like, I've seen it. That shit tough. Okay. Okay. Oh, this I was saying I was going to show y'all. But you see how... I know it's not going to let you see this character. But you see how this lady is over the young girl, right? The lady is the king of coins. And she's basically helping uh, the little girl is the page of coins. And she's helping her her granddaughter uh, learn how to work on the work on the line and shit now. And that's that's like your ancestors and guys trying to help your ass. Okay, it's, it says material assistance provider and provided right it say this in between stage is the ultimate providing stage where needs are either met or missed right so play with your fucking self it say this uh the transition from the king of coins round to the page of coins shows a transference of monetary and practical assistance the old are assisted by the young but transversely the young are also assisted in monetary terms by the old listen to me now okay it say the daughter of the suffrage leader is now an old woman who is looking after her granddaughter. The old woman is showing the young girl around the factory where she used to work. She is about to pass down her inheritance to her granddaughter, like I said. So, again, that's knowledge, okay? Remember. It say, remember the path by Larva. I can't even hear this shit, but I know I need this song on my fucking playlist. Okay, it say, divine be guiding me out. Out of this web that got us all stuck. I write the path. Remember it now. You wrote the path. Remember it now. I'm telling you. Better remember. You better remember. Say divine be calling me in. All the answers lie within me. Okay. Y'all playing. Y'all playing ain't shit to play about. Nine of wands. Nine of wands to the ten of wands. This what happened when your ass try to run away from some shit. Your ass be about to die. And I say, you know, unalive, unalive, unalive. Don't, don't fuck with me, TikTok. I mean, not TikTok, <laughs> YouTube. Don't fuck with me. Okay, but um, um, nine of wands. This right here. Let me see. It says seeking help and shelter. <laughs> That's what it say. Seeking help and shelter because you're gonna need some fucking help. Look, you need some milk, okay? Because your ass don't want to listen. This in-between stage shows the need for help and assistance. The woman can no longer move, and, and she clings tightly to the light that once gave her such hope in the Ace of Wands to the Two of Wands stage. Okay, now. <laughs> Forward moving is their last hope. They have to keep pushing on with their last of their energy reserves. I'm telling you. You gonna you gonna be getting your ass beat three ones to the four ones. This came out in the reverse, and that's to clarify the nine of ones. And so that's just to say, if your ass dreams of future plans, if you fuck up your ancestors and guys dreams of their future plans in you, cause you the person that's supposed to t you know pick it up and move on, they're gonna beat y'all ass. They're gonna beat your ass. That's just what what be happening. Like people be tweaking. Mm -hmm. This in between card illuminates the build up to celebra celebratory times. That feeling of walking up towards a festival with the knowledge that you will be able to explore every tent. It is full of anticipation and excitement. Think I didn't notice? Right. You you think they didn't notice that your ass wasn't doing the work? Okay. That's my Pichka. It say, I bet you when you see something, you won't say nothing. It's getting kind of fun to be the one they always hating on. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Mm, I'm telling you. If you don't do the work, baby, I'm sorry for you. I can't even. Don't get me wrong. Message me. I'll help you. Like, I, you know, as much as I can, as much as I'm guided to. Because that's another thing that y'all don't be realizing, like, Real people 
that actually like do this for real that's guided to do this for real they also be guided to let y'all ass fucking um sink keep that in mind okay especially keep it in mind in regards to, like y'all gotta okay <laughs> they tell me to chill the ace of coins the ace of coins to the two of coins that's more so of just letting you know that they got your money because this card in particular is about motherfuckers stealing your money this card <laughs> It say the choice to pick up an opportunity, right? So you play with your choice, they're gonna fuck with your money. And I feel like they've already have been, so you take that as it resonates. It say this in between stage recognizes the opportunity and moves with it. Material choices are important in our lives and we need to carefully consider our options. Again, with them options. It may be that we decide not to go for the job that has come up or shop online for different investment opportunities. It is important to recognize that at that at this point we still we are still undecided y'all 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 the music changed again 41 17 on the clock i can't make this shit up you keep on letting shit distract you from this and you progressing and moving forward Something gonna happen to you in regards to your money because okay i just said that part but i was guided to read this as well it says in this car the pickpocket is reaching for a golden pocket watch the pocket watch not my leg itching the pocket watch represents the ace with the pentagram symbol embossed into it and all the earthly and material value of the coins it is the start of something valuable for the thief who then has the choice of what to do next with it as a historical note, on February 16, 1918, Great Britain granted voting rights to women. Hmm. You take that as you want to resonate. It's that my spirit is so free. What's the name of this song? Uh, free Spirit by Mo Monica. I'm putting that shit in my purse. I was already there. Okay, so skip it. <laughs> skip it. The higher font at the, at the bottom. And this is the higher font to the lovers. And this right here is about the transference of knowledge. Your ass don't allow that transference of knowledge to happen. Your ass gonna feel numb and you're not gonna get that help. They're gonna be right there to like catch you when you when you ready. But you ain't gonna feel that assistance. Okay, y'all. Let me let me get up on out y'all here. Let's see if I can get you another one of these cards. Okay, I'm getting like no. Hmm. Now I'm gonna have to find the thing for that. Let's see. Oh, they have what I'm hearing. These cards. Okay. So I just want to clarify and say clarity. Look, I want to clarify and say clarity and upright on this deck and a verse on this one. Get y'all shit together. I'm just fucking saying. Get y'all shit together. Okay. I don't. I don't know. I've been reading so many of these books here lately, and I don't even know. Oh wait, is that it? Nope. This is it. Nope. And as I'm doing this, Spirit's giving me downloads. Okay, so I don't like to be like this. I don't like to not already have my shit in order for what the fuck I'm supposed to be doing. Thank you, Spirit, for showing me what the fuck you want, though. But I don't like to have to look for shit. But in me looking for this shit over here, because I was, I was made to look for some shit over here so I can get the download, I guess, it's for you to know that you're going to be uncomfortable in this situation. You're going to be uncomfortable moving forward. You're going to be uncomfortable, okay? But you still do it. You push through to get to what the fuck you want, what the fuck you're looking for, okay? All right, we got Glow Up by Oshun Plan. Hmm, they say, what you know about this life that I'm motherfucking living? 
spirits stay high so i get it how i live it start me day up start me day up with a prayer and some lemon poured in a cup of the water that i'm sitting y'all listen listen look at this confidence in the reverse this is how the shit came out courage right here if you go back and look at your other message this this is this is a repeating fucking thing for y'all cancels okay now it's something about y'all confidence and that's why you need to look into your inner self baby okay okay i'm gonna read this card though okay mm. Give me two years to where that life will be vacation. Okay. Okay, so magical guidance. A lack of confidence is blocking you from living your life to the full. That's why this song came on. It's about time you trusted in your own gifts and abilities for this boy is calling me again. This is why I'm trying to tell y'all, okay? Don't, don't do it to yourself. Don't do it to yourself. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> I can't make this shit up. Okay. <clears throat> okay. It's about time you trust it um, in your own gifts and abilities. For self-doubt seems to be running the show. You already know the answers and you understand what's best for all, yet you still keep quiet and seek out the opinion of others, baby. It's time to trust and believe in yourself. Daily positive affirmations will increase your feelings of self-assurance and in turn, an appreciation of your unique qualities will increase. As, as a new confidence shines forth, you're more readily available to share with the world everything you have to offer with strong conviction spell incantation face east on a sunday morning during a full moon phase hold a licorice root and a sunstone crystal and say doubts be gone choose belief licorice root brings relief affirmations are the key inviting positivity continue on assertive theme building up new self-esteem on solar plexus place sunstone self-assurance now to own sunny shining brightly like the sun excluding confidence exuding confidence and fun period <laughs> not period but y'all know what i'm okay remind yourself to say daily i fully believe in myself and have confidence in all i do now say gratefully i accept the magic of you a uh, protect a protection to assist in all that I do. Lend me the courage. Bend, build power in me. Assist my transcendence. So mote it be. Magical meanings. Release all that's knocked your confidence. Stay positive. Say positive affirmations daily. Put yourself out there. Stop comparing yourself to others. Turn away from things. Turn away from your inner critic. You can do it. Okay. Oh, that's it. Okay. Hold on. Okay. I said they want me to read Courage, too. Your extreme... Avert, your extreme aversion to something that's plagued you for most of your life is causing you to become irrational. An overwhelming and debilitating fear has a significant impact at at even the thought of coming face to face with your antagonistic per perpetrator. Avoidance and an exaggerated, unrealistic sense of danger has led to restrictions and increased your anxiety. Tracking Tracking back to the original source of a phobia will help you to understand your triggers and intense and intense psychological reactions in order to heal. With courage and little and a little banishment magic, you can find complete peace of mind. Period. Because that's what this is. Like I said, it's like some of like you not want to meet your inner God, know your inner self. Yeah, baby. Uh, spell incantation. Write down your phobia on a piece of paper. Light a black candle. Face west at dusk on a Wednesday during the dark moon and say, 
spiders, toads, wasps, and rats, darkness, failure, flying bats, fright be gone, dreams to chase, hold the paper, fears to face, burning flames, extinguish dread, that valerian roots will put will put to bed anxiety and panic attacks let it go try to relax lifetime trauma healed and gone freedom finally to move on burn the paper safely in the flame of the black candle and say gratefully i accept the magic of you of you of protection to assist in all that i do lend me the courage build power to me assist my transcendence so mode it be magical meanings your fears relate to a past life your sensitivity is com compromised by another's phobias understanding is key to healing you're safe and protected here be it okay and with that healing in my heels is playing like y'all listen Okay, it's it's by Tony Jones, and I don't even know what the fuck the song is saying because I don't want to get fucked up by uh, YouTube. But we're gonna add that to the playlist too. I'm like I said, I'm gonna put the playlist um on the community page, and we're gonna be listening to this shit together. And um, yeah, 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 yeah. Add songs to it too. Look, add songs to it too. But you need to be done grieving something for sure. Yeah, you need to be done grieving something. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. Please be sure to like, uh, share, comment, and subscribe. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, I appreciate... What did I say? Yeah, I appreciate all your time and energy. I send it back to you guys tenfold. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye, Cancer.